Hello to everyone. Please subscribe, share, comment and like. Today I'm going to show you how I made this pizza oven, full size pizza oven where you can cook from pizza to bread, naan, chicken, pork, ribs, whatever you want. This is a full size pizza oven. I also made these burners. This is a insulated, very well made. It cost a little bit, but these kind of ovens probably cost around $5,000 or maybe more. So from the, the cost point, this is very, very cheap. And I also have a video how I made these burners. So you can check it out on my channel. Don't forget to subscribe, it helps to for YouTube algorithm. When you have something really nice, you wanna show up to the peoples so they can make and uh, they can make cheaper. These are a few things I made in it just to show you how efficient this is. You can make Neapolitan pizza in 90 seconds. I'm using a pizza stone but I doesn't need it. But I don't have a pizza peel so and I have a pizza stone. You can see how beautiful these pizzas come out. These are 90 second pizzas. Now we're gonna build it. This is the drum I bought from OfferUp $25 delivered locally bought the guy said for five dollar he can deliver so i said okay and i also have a couple of videos how i made my tandoor you can watch that video on my channel how i made tandoor do not throw anything just keep everything probably need later on these are the fire bricks i'm using bought from northern tools so make sure you buy from northern tools because they are very expensive on amazon these are only 14 dollar and change for six tiles so I'm using 48 tiles I use actually 44 but obviously you have to buy eight packs of six so that's 48 tiles so I just put eight tiles and mark up this come out to around 22 inches a little bit more than 22 inches and going to be around 14 inches height less whatever we're gonna put the tiles around it and make sure you're Tape it straight. Measure it everywhere. I am using one side the reference of a joint to keep it straight and then put the other one. This is just for the reference I am making full size pizza oven where I can cook anything I want just like a regular cooking oven but with a lot more heat or less heat. Okay. So I am going to cut it around 27 and a half then I decided to go for 28 and a half because I have to insulate the back side. Okay. I try to show up everything in this video so that's why it is little longer. So it is what it is. Here is my help. Keep an eye on your children if they are around and let them be around but make sure you keep an eye on them. Because they try to here, here. I try to cut from top to bottom. It is a little bit harder, so I cut from bottom to top in a straight line, very easy. Don't throw anything. You might need something later on. Okay, I am checking again because there is a ring on the front, not in the back, so it bend a little bit from the back once you cut so I just grab a stick and a couple of screws so make sure you putting the same size in the front and the back it is 22.5 in I mean 22.2 inches so I checked everything is fine I try to burn it you can see there's some smoke but it is very hard kind of primer and I just grind it. This is a Rutland cement, refractory cement. Cost me $65 on Amazon. Make sure you wet your tile and put cement. Fill up these gaps with the cement with the, your finger or whatever. Make sure you push all the cement in as much as you can. I also using some high heat cement also Rutland cost me around $8 on Amazon also 
I put in the front a little bit on the back, but then I decided I doesn't need it because the cement is very, very hard when it dries. Extremely hard. I cross tile, you can see, then I have to cut one tile in the half. These tiles are very easy to cut. I fill up all the gaps with the cement. Do not add too much water when you add cement and do not make, I mean, uh, uh, mix your cement at once. Just mix a little bit, use it, then mix a little bit. Make sure you don't put too much water. Fill up all the gaps with the cement. Wherever you see the gap, just fill it up. Once it dries, it is hard, very, very hard like a metal. Now we're gonna use, okay, I'm using this um, tile cutter, like a diamond cutter. Very easy to cut. I give them a little bit deep cuts like that. You can see. So that way they stick together really hard. Wherever is not in level, I just cut straight down with diamond disc. So now you can see this is 28 and a little bit. It is basically okay, 28 and a half. I'm measuring from the tile and a 22 inches basically to the side. So now I'm going to make a table. If you are not making a table, you, you can go for the kind of a brick table then you don't need this but I am making this metal table make sure you are cutting one inch extra so this is going to be two inch because one inch tube and uh, one inch extra so this is going to be around 26 inch wide and to the back is around 27 and a half I think or 28 and a half okay these are the angle one inch by one inch or one inch angles i cut them 29 inches because my tires i'm going to use those rollers they are around six inches so this is going to be basically around three feet the the rollers are six to seven inch i think make sure you're putting your your square table wherever it is even so i'm using a couple of um, magnets you can see how i just check that is in a level couple of magnets and also i'm using a magnet level those are a magnet holders so make sure everything is straight and also these angle cost me uh 25 dollar for uh, i think they are 20 feet long and those tubes, the square tubes, they cost me $36, but they are 24 feet long. I bought them from a local fence supply. Then I also bought these uh, nuts. These are for the tires. Once they are welded, I weld on the top. Okay, I am not a welder. This is a cheap welding and very easy to weld. This is a MIG welding I bought from Amazon. I think it cost me $129, but that was around, around like a couple of years ago. So once I weld, I just grind it to keep it in a level. And I also weld inside Then I screw those wheels on it. Now you can see this is turned out to be a three feet in height. That's a perfect height for myself. This is three quarter inch angle cost me $18 from the same place. And but this cost me $150. This is four feet by eight feet. I think it's a 16 gauge metal sheet. So everything is ready now basically so I'm using these uh, three quarter
and also I am using the, the same angle and uh, level to keep everything straight and uh, in level this way you don't have to check the height measure it in two three places run your the top angle here and there to check if everything is fine and I also cut 45 degree to the edges yes it is hot once I weld everything now our table is stable now I'm gonna cut the metal sheet try to keep it straight as much as you can some people are just good for a mechanic or welding or cutting okay once I cut I put on top and mark up and then I cut all four sides once you cut I will show you how it looks try to understand first then cut don't make mistakes okay now you can see I cut a little bit smaller than my table so that way um, it was easy to weld all around it anyway I'm not gonna put any weight on it I also cut the bottom where I'm gonna put my gas tank so it will look like this now I'm just checking this is not a final this is what I make this is a uh, one and a half inches in the middle and uh, three and a half inches in total so I put where I want my burners to go and mark up now I have to cut this if you're not using burner from there then you have to cut from somewhere else or from the back you can put the burners if you don't want to cut where you put the tiles you can cut the tiles and put your burners and now make sure everything is measured twice because you can see how I made a mistake but measuring again I correct it now I put the top top one is bigger than a bottom one I did the same thing I put on top and mark it up and then cut it now we're gonna use insulation system this cost me $85 from Amazon Unifiber Unitherm insulation system it is two feet wide and 25 feet long so it is quite cheaper against other people's this is how I put and then the top the top is 26 inches wide and 28 and half inches long and also I built this thing this skewer tube where I'm gonna put the tiles so now I'm gonna put the tiles I have to cut a couple of tiles with the the gas entrances just like this I cut a couple of tiles you can see those are five tiles like 15 tiles in total cut two tiles this is how it looks the back the front basically everything is ready now but not done now I build three quarter inch angle around it so that way those tiles stay in place and they are tight and one of the tile is just moving around so I'm gonna put that high heat caulking around it so I put high heat caulking all around it so that way it is airtight also you can see doesn't need it but to make it airtight anyway we're gonna put those insulation and everything again my help okay, is there hai hai. Tum lena hai. keep an eye they are very curious to do things okay okay now I weld a little flat on the front and also I weld the the drum to the angle so that way 
okay. if somebody touches around it and they don't know so then way it doesn't break or probably be any problem coming so this is how I made the cut five inches then I decided five inches too much so I go for four inches and underneath the cement is very very hard I cut that with a diamond disc so now I'm gonna make the chimney you can buy chimney but I had this extra thing so I bend it forcefully weld it a little bit and then just to hammer it out inside this wood it is easy to make took me around a couple of minutes to do it not that hard so I cut inclining you can see it is pretty round but you know it is a homemade so that's fine and I weld it on the top and put some caulking around it and this is the insulation this is a double layer of insulation I put them twice just to make sure you cross them because you can see the joint and also I put in the back and then I put this mesh that I bought from Lowe's cost me around $14 and change so I just tie them up with the wire once everything it looks nice and I put tile mix that tile mix I bought from floor and decker that cost me I think six dollars not too much six dollar is kind of cheap for 50 pound bag I'm using only one bag so I put a thin layer on it and let it dry and then put an other thin layer so now it looks even okay now I'm going to install some tiles and these are the tools I'm using do not mix everything together just mix little by little these tiles are on special price floor and decker they cost me around four dollar for one tile so I'm using around 14 tiles in total installing those tiles and then once these tiles are installed I just put the same cement tile I mean a uh, tile cement on those top of this okay now it's time to make the the door and the front cover so basically I have to grind a little bit in that ring in the front but then I made a mistake you know when you learning and doing things you made mistakes you see how I cut the bottom it's supposed to be not not the bottom but the side things and then it is whatever it is and then I have to figure out the middle so I just measure with the measurement so I cut like this I decided a little bit bigger size to the front you can see how I grind the ring a little bit there was some cement and some paint so now I weld it and also I cut a couple of pieces to weld on the bottom I try to keep a little bit bigger to the right side for the temperature gauge but didn't work out so you if you're making you can keep it in a level both sides and now we're gonna cut okay the door I want to use the the barrel uh, top but then I decided to go with the sheet metal 16 gauge because this is a solid and easy to weld this is how I weld the three quarter inch and then also welding this opening thing that cost me around three dollar these uh, 
flat bars were laying around so I just used them. The mechanism you can use whatever you like to open and close. This is not very good mechanism but I will change it later. This is the burner I made. So you can see they are very efficient. This is the first time I'm burning a little bit of wood in it to fill up those gaps between tiles. So I'm gonna fill up those gaps with the ash. So basically that's it. Give it a thumbs up so it can reach more people. I thanks every single person who watches this. I appreciate. Thank you very much. Changa vi mitro.